Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Making Sense of Credit. I'm Tony Hill. I'm a personal small business credit coach, online marketer, and YouTuber. Hey, welcome to all my subscribers and, and all the new viewers who are checking me out today. Hey, appreciate it. Um, look, coming to you with another video and another one. But uh, this is going to be another short video. You know, my videos aren't ever that long. But this is going to be establishing a relationship with uh, mainly credit unions and also other lenders, but mainly credit unions. Um, look, before I dive in, uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell for upcoming content, make a comment if you like, and most of all, share this with your friends and family. And um, uh, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hey, look, you know, when I got out of college, um, first book I read was uh, uh, Wealth Without Risk. Uh, Charles Givens, I believe. Yeah, good book. Uh, 23 years old, out of college, had no clue about finance. My parents never had a credit card. Uh, and one of the best things I picked up out of there early on was, you know, it's, a, it's an old saying that uh, when you when you need money, you can't get it. When they try to give it to you, you don't want it. I had so many people say, "Oh yeah, I got these. I got all these offers, Tony, but I don't need it." So I'm thinking. No, take it and put it away for a rainy day. You know, I remember the days when I couldn't get a loan on a Big Mac. <laughs> and, um, you know, really, nobody would give me money. No one, no one would give me credit. And then, you know, once again, I remember when back in the heyday before the Great, Great Recession, these lenders would give you huge lines of credit. And basically, I took every one because, you know, you never know on a rainy day, you might be able to take advantage of a an opportunity, whether it be a house, you might want you can be a hard money lender, or just having that credit available to you. So if somebody's offering you the the uh, credit, take it. it. Don't mean you have to use it. Don't use it. Um, don't use it. You know, buying uh, depreciating assets, but you can use it to buy appreciating assets. And then, look, if you've been in a spot where you can't get anything because of your credit been there done that but look you want to establish a relationship with banks and, and mostly credit unions here's why because let's say you have an opportunity to do something it comes up to you oh you know hey Tony you know can you invest in this property with me I need 50,000 and then you go to the bank and you've been there for 15 years one bank because you have and they said, well, Mr. Hill, you know, I can't, we can't give you 50, but we can give you 10. We can give you 15,000. Now you're pissed. You've been with this bank for 10, 15 years, and they only want to give you 15 grand. You know, they really kind of look at you as a high risk or 20 grand, whatever. But that's far from your 50, right? Well, if you got five different banks, right? And each bank gives you 10 or each bank gives you 20, do the math, right? you could possibly get up to $100,000 to take advantage of an opportunity. So I, I learned this early on, and I've been doing that the whole time. And I just want to show you something, not to brag, but I never do that. And really, I'm a pretty private person. You guys, if you watch my videos, you know I really don't share a lot of what I have and you know and what I got, that sort of thing. But I want to just, for the uh, video today, I just wanted to show you. This is what I normally carry, my little... Uh, clip or whatever and I have my, my driver's license on here I got my DCU um, debit card DCU credit card my SunTrust business credit card and my PNC debit card and the reason I do that is because I use them differently because I want to I want to have that relationship so at a point in time when I you know, I'll, make it, I'll make deposits here and there First of all, let me just say this while I'm, while I'm doing this. Number one, if you a um, entrepreneur, freelance, or whatever, make sure you have all your transactions going through one bank first. Because and, and so if you get paid, have all your transactions going through that one bank because that way your um, your uh, three month statement balance is going to be at its highest. So once you you know you put that money in there, now you can move it around to the other. You know banks you know just as small transactions okay but make sure you understand it because a lot of uh, lenders won't use two uh, statements they want to see that one statement 
and all the income coming on that one segment. I just figured I'd throw that out there. That wasn't my my video today, but I wanted to throw that out there. So look, so let me just show you something else. So this is my wallet, which I never carry. It's always in my uh, briefcase. But I just want to show you the lenders that I use. Delta Community, um, Delta like the airline, Navy Federal, um, got a bunch of other ones here, Alliant, Royal, try not to show you guys my account numbers, uh, Delta Community Credit Card, uh, Navy Federal, Navy Federal Personal and Business, um, U.S. Bank, U.S. Bank Business Card. So I think I, I think I total I have two PNC, U.S. Bank, um, SunTrust, yes, for my business. You know, as far as like traditional uh, banks, and then every uh, everything else credit unions. But I want to say I have a total of seven banks that I've been working uh, working with to, to uh, build relationships with. So if I ever need a point in time when I need a large amount of money, I'm not going to rely on one bank and they turn me down or they shortcut me from what I need. I have these different relationships. If one bank don't want to uh, play ball, I go to the other one. If that one don't want to play ball, I go to the other one. And keep building and building and building. And, and uh, so what you're doing, you're sowing the seeds to these relationships with the lenders. And, and look, uh, I, I'm not a big fintech guy, although, you know, fintech really is coming on a, you know, and they have a really good platform. You know, they mostly use the the, uh, the, the Plaid platform where they, you know, they check your bank account. I, I you know, I, I think I had one, was a North one, and basically they got in trouble and I cut them out. But there are some good ones out there, Divi and, you know, Capital on Tap, who I even refer my clients to. I'm just kind of an old school guy, and I like, you know, we're even with digital. Um, I mean, with digital credit union, you know, they're not a, they're more of a uh, virtual bank. Where, you know, I'm I'm in Atlanta, and they're in wherever they are. I forget where they are, but uh, you could check them out. But uh, you know, I can always get somebody on the phone. Some of these fintech banks, you can't talk to a person. And I'm old school man. I need to talk to someone if I, or if I, a lot of times. Outside the virtual ones, a couple of virtual ones that I have, I know I can walk into Navy Federal. I know I can walk into Delta Community, um, so on and so on. I can't walk into the Alliance, um, and I can't walk into DCU, and that's okay. But the thing about it, I can always get someone on the phone who can give me an answer. And those guys are really two incredible banks that you may want to check out. So, um, so establish those relationships with lenders. Don't put all your eggs in one basket and rely on one lender. I mean, the worst, the, the, the thing that drives me crazy and that, that really angers me is when I have a good, really good client, they've been with a lender for a long time, you know, uh, and they, they, you know, they want a, a, a twenty-five or $50,000 loan and the bank says, oh, we can't give you, you know, twenty-five, but we can give you ten. We can give you 15 and now they're ticked off because they've been with the lender for 10 15 20 years and and they because uh depending on what time we are whether it's covid or very recession or all these things that might um hamper you from getting what you need don't rely on one bank um, i have seven not saying you need seven but have more than one and then um now you're in control of your financing and the lenders are. So look, just wanted to drop that to you about uh, establishing relationships relationships with, with different banks, mainly credit unions I love. They're always going to have pretty much a lower rate. Um, so, but look, Tony Hill, Making Sense of Credit, Making Sense of Making Money Online. I'm going to be bringing you uh, more uh, info on making money uh, online and offline because it, it, it affects your utilization if you make a little more money because I see a lot of people that are trying to get their credit scores up and they don't realize that the utilization is too high. Also too, if you haven't checked out my online um, dispute uh, guide and dispute uh, script, check that out because disputing online does work. You just need to know what to say 
for the guide and the, you know use my guide and my and the script to uh, get those negative items deleted off your credit. Look, Tony, you're making sense of credit, making sense of make money online. Until the next video, be safe. We still in this COVID thing going on, and um, I just want to say thanks for watching. Until the next video, peace.